What's up guys? You're tuning into the channel. So recently me and my family went to Japan and I vlogged all of the 8 days that we were there. So if you haven't watched that videos, check them out over here. Jacket is giving me a tummy. This is the this is line is the pocket, I swear. It's not the gut. So anyways now well, you probably read the title, but I'm gonna be doing a Japan haul! First, I just want to say that don't expect too much because I f because while we were in Japan, I felt like we were rushing a lot. Plus, I didn't really have any money. So, I didn't really buy a lot of stuff and I didn't really buy expensive stuff. Japan haul! <laughs> so first, since I'm wearing it right now, I wore this I wore this. I bought this gray hoodie from Disney Sea. We didn't go to Disneyland because my parents thought that there were other countries that had Disneyland. So, but Japan had Disney Sea, so might as well go to Disney Sea. And as you can see, it's gray. It has this Disney logo, Tokyo written on it. I don't know. For some reason, gray jackets just appeal so much to me. If it's a if it's a hoodie and if it's gray, I instantly think it's nice. My hair isn't. My hair isn't nice. That's why I'm, that's why I was wearing a hood. Hood. No hood. Hood. Definitely. So first, I bought this matcha cheese. If my camera would focus. Let's go, pretty vlogger. Basically, I bought matcha cheese, which is like cheese. It's basically cheese infused with green tea. We went to the. Sensoji Temple in Asakusa. I totally butchered that. But. And then while we were walking around, we stumbled upon this like matcha shop where everything had, where everything was like matcha. They had like matcha ice cream, matcha butter. Is it matcha or green tea? Or those the same? Anyways, there was a lot of green stuff. And since I didn't have a lot of money, I just bought this matcha cheese, which we will be trying out right now. Okay, forgot it comes with a spoon. <laughs> so I do not want to add more stuff to my dishes later, so we will not be using that knife. Ooh, that cheesy matcha, I guess. First, a little taste. What a big taste. Mm, I was not expecting that. I thought it would either be too cheesy or too matcha -y. But it's like both, but creamy. Does it work in bread like it does with cheese? Oh wow, that's really good. Matcha and cheese, who would have known? I love this. So good, I can just eat it on its own. So the next thing in the haul are these. These are Ichiran Instant Ramen Noodle Packs. These actually came in boxes, but I've been obsessed with these because Ichiran has the best ramen I've ever tasted. So I've been obsessed with these. I've been eating these for like almost every day now. I might actually cook this one after this video. And then next we have Roy's Nama Chocolate, if it focuses. And I think it did. Now for Roy's, we actually have these in the Philippines, but the thing is, but... Ugh. But they're a lot cheaper in Japan, I think. They're also made in Japan. I don't know. Ah, ah, plastic. Ah, smell of Nama. Here's the rose. Ah. And I'm not their big fan of chocolate too, but these chocolates though. So good. Mm, I'm having a moment. They're just so good, melt in your mouth. And they cost like half as much in Japan as they do here. Now to the next shop tip. Fell in my matcha bread. I also got green tea Kit Kat. Green tea Kit Kat is like available here too, but they're always so good and they're cheaper there. So I got, so I got myself an entire pack. And just so it's a little bit different, I got the dark matcha ones. Oh, that was, that was paper. Thought it was plastic. Okay. Ta-da! Mm, wow. Why is green tea so good? So next, I got these pink Kit Kats. I don't know what flavor it is yet. But upon reading, it is Sakura and Soybean Kit Kat. Mm. Now this one is actually indigenous. 
I don't think I use that word correctly. Skip Kat can only be found in Japan. And I just got it because it looked cute and pink. Hmm, interesting. They taste sesame. I kind of like it. So that does it for the Kit Kat. Japan has like loads of different other Kit Kat flavors, but if I bought each and every flavor, I don't think I'd have money to buy other stuff with anymore. Oh wow, just realized I've been eating a lot this video. This isn't even a haul anymore, it's practically a mukbang. Last food item, which is good because I've been eating a lot. I got Petit Tokyo Banana Milk Choco Daifuku. I don't know what these are, but when we were leaving the airport, I just saw these in one of the shops. And I remember that the Tokyo bananas were like one of the must buy tourist food slash pasalubongs of Japan. So I thought that I should get myself one. So let's just open it. That did not help me open this at all. Ah, there's a box in the plastic thing. I'll pick that up later. Ta da! So these are, these are practically like. Tokyo Tokyo banana balls. So I just bought these mini These mini ones. I don't know if they taste the same or if they're like a different variant or if they're just like the same Tokyo banana but smaller, but I'll go give them a try. Oh Just by opening that plastic you can already smell the banana. It's like a marshmallow Squish squish. Okay, it's not it doesn't it's more jelly than marshmallow. It's a weird flavor at first, but once you get to the middle, it's actually really good. Okay, so next I got this like little I don't know if it's I think There we go. Okay, so I got this little medallion thing from Disneyland. I mean from Disney Sea. So basically they had this cool looking machine that like turns your 100 yen coin into this medallion thing. And in hindsight, I'm not really sure if it turns my if it turned my coin into this thing or if it just already had like a stack of these pre-shaped things and just imprinted the Mickey thing on it. But anyways, it's still a cool looking thing. Plus, I like to believe that they actually melted down my coin and turned it into this. Although, if they did actually use my coin, I kind of wish I chose a shinier, a shinier, more silvery 100 yen coin. And next, I have this Baby Simba plushie that I got from Disney Sea also. Oh, and I took a picture, I showed it to Rene, and I just knew that if she saw that I had him and I didn't get her one, she would lose it. So I bought her one for her. Okay, so this is her with her inferior Simba. <laughs> Look, she loves it. And then this is me with my superior Simba. No, Simba! Okay, so for the last item of this haul, I bought an Izuku Midoriya Deku action figure. I tried saying too many things that time. We went to Akibara, which is like the land of anime, and I totally weaved out. I'm really in love with this anime now. It's like anime and superheroes, which is like the perfect, perfect combo for me. He comes with interchangeable faces and interchangeable hands. Okay, that was just the stand. Very good. Okay guys, so now it's finally time to show you Bubble Wrap! That was stupid. No, but really. Midoriya! Oh, ta-da! I don't think he's in focus. Ta-da! He looks so cool! And she be like, his arms can move his air. He can even do crunches. Okay, not crunches. He can swivel his waist. So here we have the basic Midoriya face. So now let's try to play with the hand. And let's even change up the head, because why not? So we, we now have a crying Midoriya with the red finger, because he doesn't know how to control one for all yet. Now we have angry Detroit smashing Midoriya when he's finally done crying and the flashback has happened and now he knows that he must do something to deserve his power. I'm too obsessed with this. Uh, that's it for the video guys. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna go play a lot with my new toy now and I am hungry so I will be cooking some of that delicious delicious Ichiran ramen. Peace and bye bye